Okay, so for <clears throat> Fundamentals of Engineering Mechanics, test number three, it's all about dynamics, but just the, just the basics. Um, focus on the fundamentals. Uh, so here, problem number one is a projectile problem. This is what I think about when I think of dynamics problems. I think of projectiles, you know, shooting it at some angle. How far does it go? How much time does it take to get there? Uh, you know, what's, what's the speed? Or maybe we don't know the, the initial, initial speed. <clears throat> For projectile problems, uh, this is what I like to I I like to separate x from y motion because they're kind of independent from each other, right? X motion, uh, there's no acceleration. Y motion, there is acceleration down, acceleration due to gravity. So for projectiles, that's the only acceleration we have. So in the x, uh, your book would probably write this equation: S F <clears throat> equals S I plus V I T. Uh, I go ahead and write this one half a t squared because that is our constant acceleration equation, uh, even though acceleration is zero. So the, you know that, that I, I just write this uh, third constant acceleration equation S F equals S I <clears throat> plus V I T plus one half a t squared for both x and y because both of them do have a constant acceleration of you know negative 9.81 uh, in the only in the y direction <clears throat> be careful this is in feet if this is in feet then acceleration is down 32.2 feet per second squared so then isolate the x only think about the x don't worry about the y only think about the x where are we starting you can choose whatever point you want to be your starting point as long as you're consistent on the right and left uh, but i think it makes sense to say we're starting at zero we're ending at r all right, we're starting at zero, ending at R. We're starting with a velocity, not 150, only the X. Remember, only the X. Uh, 150, uh, we could do sine or cosine. Uh, I'm going to say four-fifths of 150. Some of y'all like to um, figure out what angle that is and then say cosine of that angle, and, and you end up back at four-fifths. Uh, so, you know, use those ratios if you have those dimensions. That is the our x equation, and that's that's all I've got. I've, I've got two um, unknowns I can't solve right away, so let me go to my y equation. So in the y direction, oh, where are we saying it's starting and where are we saying it, it, it's ending? Uh, I could say, watch this, see if you're following along with this. I could say that it starts at zero, then I would have to say it ends at negative 150. All right, I'd say it starts at zero, and it ends at negative one fifty. Or I, I told you I can choose your zero point. What if we say it ends at zero, and it starts at positive one fifty? And do you see how mathematically those are the same thing? You know, it, we, we'd, we'd subtract that one fifty over. So as long as you're consistent, you you could set that to be your zero, or you could set this up here to be your zero. Um, you could do either one because you have the SI and SF on both sides of the equation. Um, so just be consistent. I think I'm going to do that one right there. Negative 150 starts at zero. Uh, v initial, only the Y, right? Only the Y, 150, three fifths. T, one half, negative 9.81. T squared. Again, be consistent. If, if we're calling everything else positive up, and kind of it's it's labeled right there, generally we, we'll do everything positive up, so then that acceleration is negative 9.81. So here, yeah, be sure to memorize the quadratic formula, right? Know the quadratic formula uh, so that, um, and I guess it is yeah, it is down there, I think, on the last of the formula sheet. Um, but anyway, this equation has only one unknown. Don't overcomplicate things. And yes, nine times out of ten, we kind of substitute one to the other equation, but this R is not in the other equation. In my y direction, there's only one unknown, so solve for it. Right? Only one unknown, so solve for it. This is a quadratic. We've got a t squared, negative 4.905 t squared. We've got a... 90 t we've got a 150 uh what is it negative b plus and minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a quadratic formula do what you need to do to solve for this t 
T is 19.89 seconds. Plug it back in here. Get our 23.89 meters. 23.89 meters. Um, all right, a few things here. Occasionally, I'll, I'll ask for the speed, the, the final speed. So for the final speed, I need to just come here and find V final. V final is nowhere in these equations, is it? No. So I've got to use a different equation. V final, V initial, plus AT. Uh, do you see that in the X direction, V final is V initial. That 150, the 4 fifths component of that right there. Uh, what is that, 120? That's only the X, but don't forget about the Y. V final equals V initial plus a t v final it started at positive three-fifths of 150 negative 9.81 the time now that I have the time I can write that I can get v final that's only in the y and so I don't have these numbers here but I would take these two my final x velocity final y velocity square them take the square root to find the magnitude right the speed the final speed just before it hits the ground okay so and then one more thing let me go back to uh, maybe a different sample test uh, no maybe maybe we didn't do this No, it didn't do this uh, for any of these samples, but let me, um, this one we're looking at, let me mention something right here that happens sometimes, or often. Um, especially if you don't know VA, especially if you don't know VA, let me try something real quick here. If you don't know VA, then in your X equation, you, you might have something like VA is something, something divided by T. And in your Y equation, SF, uh, you might have VA sine something T. Uh, all right, I, I think there were some examples that we worked. SF, SF. V A sine T plus one half A T squared. Uh, you end up substituting this V A into this V A. Just don't overcomplicate things because sometimes those T's cancel out. And so then you, you don't have to use a quadratic form. That's all I'm, I'm saying at here is if there's not a constant and a t and a t squared, you don't have to use quadratic formula. If there's just a constant, then um, then you can solve. All right, let me go back just mathematically. If it's something t squared plus, you know, or let's say minus, you know, this you don't have to use quadratic formula for, right? Just take that the other side, divide through by 4.905, take square root, solve for t. Okay, but anyway, go back and look through all the uh, examples we've done. Uh, but problem number one will be a projectile problem. It'll be worth uh, 20 points. 20 points, okay?